then I can move to Intermediate Series 3. Um, those are still single events, no championship. I'm getting the Ferrari 455 Italia for all five, for all four events. There are four events here, okay? So it's Imola, Monza, Spa, and Mugello. Well, we start with uh, Imola and we start with the difficulty set to... I cannot change the difficulty. Wait, what? Oh, it's a time attack. Okay, so it's a time attack. What is the time I have to achieve? Does it tell? Uh, let's see what they say here. A famous car magazine has been watching your progress and wants you to test some exotic cars for them. It is a great opportunity for you, as you might get noticed by exotic car manufacturers. A first test has been organized at Imola with the amazing Ferrari 458 Italia. Okay, I have no idea what is the time requirement, uh, but let's start it. Alia et Imola. If it's time attack, or is the time attack the one where I'm like in the old arcade games when I'm giving, I'm getting time for uh, passing the checkpoints? I don't remember really. Um, yes, it is because this is for points, so this is super easy as long as you know the strategy. This is super easy. I won't be even changing anything in the car. I'm just going to drive. So, the strategy is to start slowly. So let's save the engine at Ferrari. It has to feel really good in a real car just to downshift and push the accelerator and feel the g-force working on your body and the same in braking I completely forgot I should be going slow. <laughs> I guess I was carried on by that uh, sound of the engine. Seventy-five points, so that gives us bronze because bronze was hundred points. I think it was two thousand for silver and three thousand for gold. I don't think I'm impressing anyone with that type of driving. But it's about points and not uh, impressing anyone. going slow at that stage and I explained it many occasions when I was doing the time attacks is to use all the time available to me because the points are given for improving so the slower I go at the beginning the easier for me it is to improve on the further laps and that way I'm getting more and more points and getting 3000 points should be super super easy I think uh, I was getting up to 15,000 points on some occasions Using that strategy. Of course, I went. I didn't go really slow on the on the first checkpoint because you know I could carry on. I have 40 seconds to get to the first checkpoint, so let's look at the time. I'm 
not. I don't remember if the, the checkpoint is before the U-turn or after the U-turn. Going out gives you penalty. That was stupid of me. That was quite a big penalty. Um, I would have only 900 points. And the quicker I get to 3000, the quicker I'm able to finish this event, right? So. Two seconds, and I can see the checkpoints are slowed down. I cannot go too slow because they give you a penalty for going too slow, too. So you have to be careful. I have to be careful as well, of course. But here we go 363 points, and a lot of time added to my uh, time pool and I have uh, one-third of the points required, a bit more than one-third. driving seven and a half seconds uh, quicker than last time, so you know that's a huge improvement, which means good points. I don't need that such a big improvement. And I still have 12 seconds left. Here we go, 800 points, easy. I'm already at 2,000. In theory, I could start pushing now to get the last 1,000 points required for our goal. And make the whole thing a bit more interesting. Small slide there. That uh, rear was very uh, happy to try to drive away. We're almost at 3,000 now. And obviously I'm not pushing to the maximum because I still don't know the brake points and how that car behaves at the limit. But that type of driving gives me much more fun than trying to drive slowly just to get the points. And I'm sure it's better to watch. Going 16, 17 seconds quicker now. Almost 1000 points just for that one sector, and we are above 3700. Unfortunately, I cannot stop because that will start giving me a penalty point, so I have to keep driving now.
the Ferrari so much nicer to drive than the Mercedes SLS AMG in the International Series 2. Oh my, such a huge difference. That car feels nimbler, lighter, more responsive. It still can slide around, it's a road car after all. soon but it doesn't matter now that braking is quite hard because it starts uh, while I'm still negotiating uh, a corner that um, very slightly right hander but it's enough and um, I cannot really go on a full break there I have to be very careful, careful. I was still five seconds uh, left on the timer I may not be able to reach next uh, a bit safer braking this time. I started a bit earlier than last time. Last time was uh, more precise, I would say. I, I hit that uh, braking point much better than this time. I actually prefer it uh, in comparison to Asta Corsa Competizione, which, in my opinion, does not communicate uh, slides too well or spinning. Uh, it's really hard to feel. To feel on the wheel through force feedback if my car starts spinning or not. Uh, it's really too late when I found it. I have to. I have to use my eyes as well, kind of to detect that from what's happening with the car on the road. As for Corsa, the original one, this one is much better when it comes to things like that. This is my personal opinion. My wheel was set up uh, for both games. It's set up using the recommended settings on the from the Fanatec forum. And both versions are PlayStation uh, 4, right? Played on PlayStation 5. And if someone is interested in that, I can provide my uh, wheel settings. Or you can just find them on the... on the Fanatec forum. It's enough to type in Google uh, Fanatec, whatever your wheel is. Like, for example, this one is CSL Elite. Uh, recommended settings for and the game as the Corsa, Project Cars 2, uh, as the Corsa Competizione, any of the Formula 1 games, Bike Code Masters, whatever you need, really. I'm not sure how good uh, Thrustmaster is for things like that. I've never had a Thrustmaster. I was uh, a Logitech at my early days of, uh, of racing and then I switched to Fanatec and I never looked back and to be honest I'm not interested in Trustmaster. Um, Fanatec is where my heart is uh, their equipment never disappoints this is 
my second wheel from Fanatec. And I'm really happy with it. I have different rim as well. <laughs> that was very, very close. But at the end, it was 10,500 points. Uh, where 3,000 points were needed. Six laps, 17 checkpoints. Uh, that penalty put us... Uh, oh, it wouldn't change anything, but yeah. Great, that was very, very easy, especially in comparison to the races in SLS, AMG. Um, I probably should put the lights on because that camera uh, doesn't look too good. Okay, back behind the wheel with the light on, so uh, the camera, the graining on the camera disappeared. Dark in the room. Second race is a quick race, quick race, and quick race. Mm. So the difficulty I'm going to put on for this one is uh, I will start with, let me just put together with the camera, medium. Uh, I'm hoping that if, as long as I'm racing against the same type of cars, medium should be doable without excessive training. Um, if there are any of the Italia stage 3, uh, then I guess I'm in trouble. But yeah, let's give it a try. Oh, I can see some BMW there. So one of the things I always change, I won't be changing anything here. Uh, what are the other compounds available? Street, no, semi-slicks. And I want to reduce the amount of fuel in that car. I don't think I need 30 liters. Start with 15, half of what they put there. Uh, I'm going to save that just in case I need to restart and come back to that setup. Uh, this is Monza, okay. So this is... Four, five, eight. Oh, yeah. Like the Italian. Here we go. And I'll put the order for race. Safe. Okay. Let's try it. So, BMW, BMW. I think that's a Lotus. Another Lotus. Mercedes there. Acceleration, the BMW Lux, and the Lotus as well. Nice. Now, where is the braking point here? I will start before 150 meters. That was too early. As I can see two Mercedes cars here SLS, uh, SLS AMGs and one McLaren. I think that's the MP412C, right? I always get those numbers wrong, or the other way around. Here are the braking points, I don't know where they are. 
I may be a bit too conservative with braking. Few laps in, I should know better where to brake. That McLaren is pulling away like crazy. Okay, he's six seconds faster at that stage. I'm really surprised that Mercedes outbroke me here, or outbreak, outbraked. But it was very twitchy there, and unfortunately I hit him. Or her. It's a car ride. Okay, that McLaren is way too far away to catch up with. British car. Well, I will see if I can actually pull some competitive times against it. Now, when I have a free air, I should be able to drive a little bit faster.
<laughs> it would be a close one. chance to parabolic it depends how good is my exit out of this corner I will be interesting because he has inside I'll be breaking late it's faster and straight that's what I said good I'm in front so now I can control the exit <laughs> that was very lucky Maybe it wasn't lucky, it was just a uh, good driving at the end. I was uh, doing constant laps, I learned those braking points quickly. I would like to believe the later rather than the... Anyway, it's a win, nice. That was a nice race, that's what I like. That was a proper difficulty level. I lost some time fighting the uh, slower cars, then I had to do my best to catch the McLaren and overtake it. in the last corner of the race as well. So I think this this worked out perfectly on the medium difficulty. I wish every race was like that. Unfortunately, my previous experience with uh, with previous races is mixed. Some of them are like this one, some of them are horrible. I really enjoyed this one. This is the annoying part where you have to wait for uh, set amount of time, which that really makes sense in multiplayer, I don't think it makes any sense in um, in single player, I mean it doesn't make any sense in single player. But as far as I know, there's nothing I can do in here, well, I can put the lights or change my, so I'm just going to wait. And it's done. So the lap times uh, when it comes to the personal best or fastest lap in the race between the McLaren and the Ferrari, my Ferrari were very very similar. That was very competitive. Um, it's good. Oh. Let's have a look at the next race, which is... Actually, I forgot to read what they were saying here. A collective supercar test has been organized at Monza. The excellent handling characteristic of the Ferrari 458 will certainly help you on this race. But there are other supercars that have the same or even more power. And as you know, at Monza, power matters. McLaren was faster at the later stage of the straights. Uh, maybe when I had a better exit of the corner and the momentum, I was able to pull close by, but then when, when it was catching up the power, it was just driving away. Luckily, not far away. Uh, <clears throat> this is the same car at Spa. Spa is a track that can easily overheat tires. Fortunately, most of the time, the ambient temperature is low enough to cool the tires down. Still, four laps on street tires on this long track are always demanding. Okay, we're staying at medium difficulty. All the settings the same. I'm hoping for similar uh, opponents, a uh, one or two McLarens. Uh, good. I'm hoping there won't be a four, five, eight Italia stage three because it will just drive away. So let's see what opponents do we have in this race. We have the McLaren. I think they are exactly the same as in the previous one, which is good. Uh, set up, same thing, less fuel. I actually haven't checked how much I had left, so maybe I'll go even lower now. The weight of the car matters, definitely. Never remember which one is R1, not this one. <laughs> okay, let's try again. That didn't work well. 
four, five, and yeah, but I want Italia. Or okay. Good. So let's try Spa in the Ferrari. Such a lovely truck. Amazing race truck. Mercedes, which is behind me, so I'm applying the braking points as they were in the Mercedes. Oh my gosh! I had to brake harder not to hit it. This race seems to be easier than the one at Monza. I have to lift <laughs> because I've got a coasting because I would hit him. Okay, this is too easy. Uh, I'm not enjoying that. Let's increase the difficulty. So, pa and difficulty. Difficulty is going to hard. So, hard difficulty. Let's try again. Let's load that setup. Luckily I saved it, so I don't have to adjust the fuel again. And just drive. So hopefully they will be a bit harder this time. They were too easy. Good start. Was a good reaction. Maybe I'll be able to get the Deborah before the corner. Whoa, stay on your line. Yeah, definitely, that worked. I'm closer to this Mercedes this time. Oh no, it didn't work. I uh, apologize. Early for that I uh, actually overtook it before. Uh, that was my mistake. A VR would be good, so I could actually look around. I used to drive in VR on my PC. Unfortunately, that game doesn't support VR on PlayStation. So this, uh, this beginning is very similar to what I had uh, on the previous attempt on medium difficulty. Okay, that was my mistake. Definitely I shouldn't go uh, that late on brakes. But to my defense, I don't know the braking point that well that car yet. That start wasn't as good as in the previous attempt. That Evora is such a good exit of the corner. But I don't have the power. Go see ya. Much better exit out of the uh, Rouge. Uh, 
Our rich society is going to stay. I wasn't sure how that AI is going to behave there. Let's try to catch it, Mercedes. Eh, McLaren. Well, they dealt with the Mercedes cars. Both of them. I think I should have been... Should have reduced to the second gear there. So, this time that McLaren is definitely quicker. close if I were making mistakes like this one. 
but that McLaren is a second quicker, which is not too bad. And obviously I'm still looking for speed around those corners. Definitely some time still lying on the truck and a few more laps will definitely help me to find that time. A second maybe altogether. Probably more if I spend more time. I tried to stay on the fourth gear here, previous uh, laps I was dropping to third.
was quite close. Uh, Wesley wasn't close enough to to win it. But considering I increased the difficulty, that was uh, a race I enjoyed. I'll be trying again. The same difficulty, hard. We will be able to observe two things. One of them is uh, is the behavior of the McLaren and its speed change. Uh, it's going to change. Uh, I've seen that happening on the restart. Opponents uh, become slower. Doesn't happen all the time, but it happens. So we will uh, we'll test that theory. If it does not, uh, if the restart doesn't affect that McLaren and it stays as fast as it was, then obviously I'll be trying to drive faster and better to actually have a fighting chance for P1. Oh, come on, how much longer are we going to wait? So the minute. Also, this is going to be my uh, last uh, race uh, for today, I think. So, tier 2. Uh, you know, it's nice, but I was uh, almost a second slower when it comes to the fastest lap. Let's restart. Maybe this time around, after the rush, if I can have a good exit out of this corner. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, wow. Very, very unfortunate. This is something I did, know, did not foresee. A bit slow reaction. Let's try to get this Aboras before uh, first corner. I oh, know that black Abora will stay there. Oh no, okay. There's two SLSs and the McLaren again. Come on, leave me some space here, thank you. They had really bad exit. But the McLaren is already pulling away. This is, again, this is the difficulty in Stokorsa, this is hard difficulty, the first race that McLaren was a second faster than I was with my time of 2 minutes and 40, 30, 39 seconds. Just by restarting the race after finishing second, that McLaren slowed down significantly. But 
Ich drücke auf Chance noch. The British car didn't put much of a defense there. And I'll be able to pull away now. One of the differences uh, between that Ferrari 458 Italia and the Mercedes SLS uh, AMG is this corner. It was really hard to stay within the track limits on that uh, left-hander there while uh, driving at accelerator fully depressed. Here with Ferrari it's not a problem at all. That's lap 2 and the McLaren is uh, really far behind now. the second gear last time on the previous lap I was on the third.
happy in my time. I'm quite happy with my consistency. They uh, meet 39s. I'm missing that uh, right and apex when going through Rouge. I compromised that exit by going to wider over the curbs. And as I said, that was my last race for today. It was a good one, a win, a bit too easy. The difficulty dropped too much after the restart. I haven't changed it, it was still hard, but the restart caused the opponents to be slower than on the first attempt. Uh, on the first attempt, Don McLaren was a second quicker, so it was 38 low. So Unfortunately, uh, that's how it works. And that's not much I can do about it. I wait for the race to come uh, to finish officially. See the results. Take that here free reward. And I probably be back tomorrow uh, to further push that career towards the competition. I'm not sure if it's needed for platinum to finish the career. I believe it is. Uh, PlayStation has a uh, small amount of trophies in comparison to achievements on Steam. I think there's more than 700 of them on Steam. There is something like 42 or so when it comes to the trophies. So there are different trophies for different things uh, in, in comparison to uh, achievements on, on Steam. And this is this. Uh, so that, that McLaren slowed by 6 seconds, more or less, le a little bit less than 6 seconds, just by restarting the race. Um, yeah, thank you, thank you for watching. I wish you a good evening, uh, or day, or, you know, wherever, wherever you are, guys. And uh, have, a great, uh, have a great time, and see you next time. And thank you for watching.